back forward, breathe, look ahead. All right, hands to the ground. If you can't get your hands to the ground with your legs straight, bend your knees, hips back, breathe. You're gonna step back to plank and hold, two, breathe. Let's hold everything for 10 seconds and work up to no seconds. Four, three, two, one, push back down dog, 10, nine, now, if you have a hard time with down dog, open your legs wider. Bend your knees if you have to, okay? For me, I have good hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring that leg up, so your hands between. Turn that back foot down, come up. Warrior one. One, two, three, four. Hit some pulse. Six if you want. Seven, eight, nine, Ten, swing open, warrior two, and breathe. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, warrior one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice. Down, sit back, plank. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, down dog. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You should be getting warm. Step forward, warrior one. So, square your hips off. This is counting, shoulders open, facing front, arms up by your side. Your shoulders aren't hiked, your arms are elevated. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, sink lower if you want, and then open, 10, nine, eight, seven, you should be warm and feeling it. Push this knee open, feel the expansion in the groin, right? Oh, we spend so much time bent over in this kind of posterior, posterior tensity with a pillar back here. So this is just a nice way to stretch your psoas, get those legs full extension. Open the hips, breathe, nice. If you want, you can add a reach behind in warrior and a back bend. You can call this reverse warrior one. Nice. And now we're gonna come back, down your plank. And now we're gonna hold this. Five, four, three, two, and one, and down dog. Enjoy down dog, feel that stretch. Drop your chest to the ground, maintaining length in your arms. Fingertips are forward and active, your hands. Breathe, pull your belly in. Nice, keep your right leg up, forward. Open that back leg. Right up, warrior one. Now we're gonna hold it for five, four, sink, three. Really keep the outside of that back foot down. Really work those ankles. Ankle mobility is huge in protecting your knees. Being able to absorb impact, speed, pedal pushing, power. All right, open, warrior two. Open that groin, it gets so tight, hold it on. Center. Like, see how my knee wants to adjust? Breathe. Awesome. Let it adjust. Make it stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Hot center. Come back. Sit right back. Plank. Breathe. Now, if you want to get a little bigger, we can come to this. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. And then, if you want to get a little bigger, go to dolphin. If it's tight, stay in the tippy toes, Amy. Forehead between your elbows. Five. The warmer your muscles are, the more pliable they are. So don't be afraid. Step up now. Come forward. Open that back foot. All right, drop that hip and come up. Whew. Five. 
floor, get that outside of that back foot. We spend so much time either internally or externally rotating our foot. It's all four corners of the foot, yes. What this is for, to compensate for overuse. Make the other muscles work to adapt a movement pattern that maybe we aren't utilizing properly. that back foot really grow that a lot of people will have knee problems particularly when biking it's because so now what we're going to do is going to transition to a plank but a forearm plank so bring your hands on the inside all right as you step your foot back bend the elbow breathe five six four three two one feel that nice now, same thing, walk into a dolphin. Oh, bring the forehead to the ground. Breathe. Oh, so nice. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna walk the hand back. You're gonna do a forward folding hang. Opposite hand to opposite elbow. Up it's tight, bend your knees. Get your belly to your thigh. Get your nose to your knee. Straighten your legs then, and only then. And only go as far as you can. I like to get your heart rate up and then let it drop a little bit, okay? So I'm staying a little bit because my hamstrings are tight, but that's full extension, okay? Let the weight from your, right below your rib cage, let it just release. This is a great way to release your upper body as well as your hammies, okay? 30, 29. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 22, 18, 17. Feel that fresh blood get into your brain. So good for us to invert. And this is an inversion. Anytime your head is below your waist, it's an inversion. Down guard's an inversion. So while we all feel threatened, maybe sometimes, or intimidated by inversions, oh, one more, just drop even lower. Let all the stress just go and drop out of the crown of your head into the earth. Just, well, just come to your knees. Oh, God. Play a little bit with hero pose. Considering our ankles are such a huge part of biking, walking, running, all of it really, particularly, but hero is just a really good way to sit back and just stretch, okay? Now hero, again, too, you know, we spend so much time with this, whether you want to or not, and your upper body absorbs so much. So what we wanna do when we're not on a bike is offset that a little bit. Come up onto my knees, come up onto your tippy toe, all right, and you're gonna open the heart center. Take your hands and rotate your palms so they face up, okay? So you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. Now, you can sit back on the heel. Take one hand to a heel, either away or in, and the other hand to the other heel. Beautiful. Now come up, forward, open here. Now if it's tight, lean back a little bit. Get some pressure on those feet. Stay here, five, four, Three, two, one. Come forward a little bit more. Push it a little bit more. Good. Now you just drop that head up from the chest. Nice. Come down. Come down. Come down. Reach. Grab. Good. Breathe. Oh. Five. Four. One, feel that? Now if you're fighting this, don't go down, don't fight this. Work with it, try to release the psoas. These hip flexes, they get so tight. Open your chest, open the whole anterior of our bodies, it's so tight, right? So you can keep your hands here, if you want, if it's tight. And then you can do one, and then the other. Gorgeous, breathe. Nice. Since we're open, let's do a little mini puppy pose. All right, so you're gonna come to the 
ground. So puppy pose is you get your chest to the ground, okay? You aim the chest to the ground. Slide your stretch. Stay here. Ten. Nine. Now, if it's tight, you bring your hands here, right next to you. You're aiming to get your chest and your chin to the ground without restricting your neck. You can always do this. Two, three. Nice, it's a great shoulder opener. Lower back, stretch. Do the position in my lower back. I'm articulating my spine. That gets tight because we spend so much time with our pelvis tucked, particularly when we're riding enduro and balancing on our bikes. Breathe. Now, we'll go back to this. Five minutes, five more, four, three, two, and one. Now come down. Let's do a little bit of a shoulder stretch now. So you lay on your belly. Take your right leg and bend it. Left arm is equal to where my right arm is, palm down, okay? I'm gonna bring my right hand here now though, because I'm gonna take my left, my right leg, and I'm gonna bend it behind me. I'm gonna roll my body onto my shoulder. That's a great anterior deltoid stretch. Breathe, hold, 10, nine, should feel really good. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch the other way, nice, breathe. Five, I mean 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. And just because core is so important in any activity, let's come up to a forearm plank and hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come up in the knee. Kneeling stretch now. We need to get those quads. We need the quads to release so the hamstrings can do their job, right? So take the right leg forward, leave the left leg back, all right? Come to the top of the foot, and you're just going to do a half kneeling lunge. It's one, two, and back. Forward, two, and back. Flexion. Get your belly to your thigh. We're going to do five in front. Breathe. Nice. Four. Get as deep as you can. Now notice my shoulders are over my hips and I'm dropping my hip to the ground. Breathe. Nice. Back. to the side and work this part so it's still a forward motion see I'm pushing my hip forward I'm coming at the different the hamstrings and the quads quad four different muscles different angles and we're gonna work them at all the angles nice and slow this kind of helps to prevent soreness increases range of motion Breathe. Overall, it helps eliminate back pain and knee pain. Now see how I'm squeezing with your toes? Don't. Nice. Good. Whew. Now come here. All right. So now it's like a skandasana. Only my foot is bent up and go side, back, side, back. Just get this lateral movement. We don't spend a lot of time in lateral, particularly when we're biking. So we can stay in here for 10, 9, 8, 7. Breathe out. Nice. Oh, feel that release in the upper back. It must just get so tight. Awesome. Breathe. Drop. Ooh. Oh, good. All right. Come into a little bit of a short.
show a quick pigeon. Now, my pigeon is not the best. Doesn't mean I shouldn't do it. It just means it's not the best. Okay. And then just add that bend if you want. Awesome. Oh, toddler, just a couple of seconds. Hit. Feet together. Bring your heel as close to your butt as you can. Now, if it's really tight, you can put something under your knees. Or you can work at pushing down. Hold. Three, two, one, four, three, two. Breathe. One more. Now my pelvis is tucked. Play with it with the tilt and just see. Difference. Okay, nice. Woo! Let's come up this way now and switch other side. Alright. So it's here if you want. You can add one. Come back. Breathe. Nope, wrong. this one's in the front so let's switch this way sorry sometimes you know we all get discombobulated fate remember and self-correct i guess that's a lesson oh, you know covid has been hard but it's been good having you guys work out with me online let me practice with you so thank you nice shoulders over the hips really feel that psoas stretch right through here the psoas is a Torso, in deep, intrinsic torso. It connects your upper, the rib cage to the hips. What's that? That and the quadratus lumborum, and they really are responsible for extension. Well, function and extension, but anyway. One more. You can add and reach and grab. Good, nice. Go side, back. Side, back. You know, when you're biking, your groin gets tight a lot. This is a good way to get it. Now, the recovery yoga or cool down yoga. I would probably have you hold all of these poses a little bit longer, but right now I just want this to be like a warm-up that I want you to do every day so get that hip forward back breathe good one more nice good Woo. to pigeon this way instead of doing that whole other part add that pigeon pigeon's great for the glute right good nice come back what do you think like 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 down dog awesome and walk up now let's sit down now let's end on a shoulder stand okay because, you know, planks going to straighten our upper body, okay? This shoulder stand to plow is just, it's a good way to add strength instead of tension. We spend a lot of time tense like this. It's a good way to stretch and strengthen the, the core in a reverse position of what we normally do going downhill because we want to offset it and warm up those opposing muscles as well as the muscles that we're going to use, okay? So your hands here and here. We rock up, okay? And what you want to get is the hips over the shoulders and then you want the feet over the hips. They can be point or flex. If you can go here and then go to plow and stay here for a minute. Time it. Breathe. If you want, you can drop your knees. Just feel that release. You're not compromising your neck. There's no weight on your neck your shoulders. Nice. All right. We 
We're almost halfway there. stresses I get bored holding long poses more than the pain for you it might be the pain you only have five more seconds just imagine see it the light for me it's purple it's Raphael coming through and healing all my things there you go one whole minute gorgeous Ooh. nice we'll do a little knee drop knee drop about an end on a wheel of life because that's my favorite, right? So, sit in mermaid pose, right? So you go from this position and drop your knees, square off the hips, all right? I take, so my left knee is in front. I'm gonna bring my right hand all the way around in front of my left knee, in line with my left knee. Okay, I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna reach my right hand up and drop both shoulders to the ground. You should feel that through here. We'll stay here, five, four, three, two, and one. Just fixed my shoulder just to let you know. It's just such a wonderful stretch. you from head to toe. Okay, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Sorry that COVID has made this hard for us to practice, but I hope you like this workout and I will see you again soon. Namaste.